Bonjour, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube brothers and sisters. Let's begin today, October the 26th, 2015, with prayer. Let's go before the Most High Living God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And amen. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour. Good morning. What a beautiful day today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice today and be exceedingly glad. What a beautiful, beautiful wedding and reception that uh, Christy and I were a part of uh, Saturday. And it makes me think, it makes me think how close we are to the wedding supper of the Lamb. It was downtown Flint, Michigan. I know Flint, Michigan very well. And Christy kept looking for me. I, you know, I just kept going out. And when the sun goes down, in downtown Flint, uh, the homeless come out, and uh, I was able to preach to quite a number of homeless gentlemen on the street, one woman that was homeless. Uh, but what a beautiful, beautiful wedding reception. 7.5 magnitude earthquake, my goodness. In South Asia today, many people have lost their life and property, and we're living in the end days, and God is in full control. I am still praying. I have prayed before I decide to do a video on this uh, CERN and this Hadron Collider and uh, a parallel universe and, and dimensions. I, you know, I, I'm still praying about doing this. I've got everything together and I'm still praying because one thing we have to understand, we have to quit living in fear. God is in control and we are well protected. Ministry announcements, please pray. All I ask is you to lift our ministry to the homeless up in prayer. I have uh, reached out. Facebook, I started a new Facebook page about our backpack ministry. And the devil will come at us if we are doing the will of the Father with everything that he can. If he can't bring us down, if we are armored up and we have on our whole armor of God, if he can't come in as the destroyer and destroy us physically, our physical health, and I do feel well, I feel strong in the Lord, that he will come in wherever he knows it's going to hurt God's ministry, whether it be financial. So please, please pray uh, for Father God to have the Holy Spirit just rain down upon our ministry and outreach to the homeless. We're working so very hard. There's so much need, uh, mounting, mounting bills, and uh, we have really nothing coming in uh, to go out and do what we're called to do, to meet the needs of the poor. Our vehicle is uh, in need of repair. The starter is uh, basically gone. The front end is uh, all over the road. The outer tie rods on both sides need to be repaired, and there is just nothing coming into the ministry. So all I ask is you pray in the name of Jesus for this ministry, just to God to lay his hand on this ministry and take us to the point where we need to be. I want to take you quickly to the book of Psalms, Psalm 35, and I think it's appropriate because the enemy is the one who tries to destroy the good work that God has called us to do. Psalm 35, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them, but fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am, I am, the great I am, thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame to seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. 
Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause had they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversary they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the objects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not with hypocritical mockers and feast. They gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yahweh. I will praise thee among much people. Father God, you be honor, praise the Lord. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them think neither let them rather wink with the eye but hate me without a cause for they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land yea they opened their mouth wide against me and said aha aha our eye hath seen it this thou hast seen o lord keep not silent o lord be not far from me stir up my stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with the shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father God. Yahweh, to you be all honor, praise, and glory. God bless you. I love you. Pray. All I ask is pray for our ministry to the homeless. Pray. Pray that God will, just in this situation, God will place his mighty hand on this ministry. There's so much hurt, so much need in the world. Shittim. I love you. Shut down. Au revoir. God bless.